future of agriculture is right here in Vermont. I have seen more positive changes in the last few years than I've seen in my lifetime. As I drive through our dairy counties around the state, especially in the spring, I now see green fields of cover crops rather than bare muddy fields. Plowing is greatly reduced. Barnyards are cleaner. Now, much more needs to be done, and our panelists will discuss that. But I think of the enormous strides that have been made since your last visit here. Our farm understands how critically important our management strategies are to both the stewardship of the land and the sustainability of our farm for future generations. The focus of designing and implementing effective nutrient management plans as well as innovation in new technology and techniques has helped to drive a culture shift in our state's collective approach to water quality. I'm going to give you some data here. I know we've got a lot of scientists here, so I want to give you some data. Agriculture has been responsible for, as Secretary Moore said, more than 90% of all reported phosphorus reductions in Vermont. So it's been very impressive. In 2014, Vermont had 5,000 acres uh, of cover crop. In 2020, we've reached 36,000 acres of cover crop. Over one-third of Vermont's annual cropland is now covered crop. So that's progress, and that doesn't happen without the resources uh, provided to us by the state and also by uh, USDA. But nobody's going to rest on their laurels. We know the impacts of climate change are increasing on our farms and our lake. And I want you to know that our farmers here uh, want to be part of the solution. We have to develop and deliver programs with the federal government so they can be. This is, and I would hasten to add, this is not a Republican or Democratic idea. I know the governor and I feel this way, uh, and we all do. Our farmers, our state agency of uh, agriculture, our agency of natural resources, our university, our colleges, our non-government organizations, everybody is working together to make this work. So. There is no question that we're going to see a, a transformation of agriculture uh, as we figure out ways in which we can compensate, incent, pay uh, our farmers, ranchers, and producers to work with us uh, in community uh, to, to begin sequestering carbon, to begin reducing uh, the greenhouse gas emissions connected to agriculture. And you all are here on the front lines. You all are already, already embracing the 45 uh, practices that we've identified as climate smart. You're already interested in collecting data and utilizing precision agriculture to make sure that uh, you're doing what you need to do to protect your land. Now, you're already figuring out the importance of research and development. We are all facing tighter margins which challenge capital change and improvements. Vermont farms are evolving and adapting to these times though. Environmentally speaking, we have met and exceeded many expectations of us. I think the ag community has made tremendous progress. The support we see from extension service, active memberships in our Champlain, in our own Champlain Valley Farmer Coalition, and other watershed groups in Vermont, and the unwavering support of the Vermont Agency of Agriculture, and especially NRCS, is indispensable. Our state eagerly looks forward to similar support, such as what we have received in the past. I think Vermont farmers are a unique, progressive, and committed group. I believe that the investment of your continued resources to agriculture here in Vermont will have significant impact on the improvement of water quality. We have already seen the results. And so, if we continue our progress through that additional support, I believe we, as your Vermont farmers, just might help to cement your legacy, Senator Leahy. <laughs> of Lake Champlain being, truly being another great lake. Thank you. Thank you.